right here. It's also a type of mollusk. Chiter is right here. But the more color you see is lower level. There's a whole bunch of orange and red and yellow sponge. Jeff, you harvesting? I am. What are you looking for? Mussels? Uh, Sweet. Crap. That's cold. So, algae is brown. It's green. It's blue-green. Uh, or it's red. They do eat this species. Human beings. Now, when you take a look at this, all appears pretty tranquil, but the longer you were to watch this, the more you would see. There would be crabs in there, there'd be little shrimps in there, there's little fish in there. And it takes patience to just sit and watch. And then, oh, you see something move. Oh, wait, something's moving. So yeah. this community is, uh, you know, they're kind of stuck for, for life here. And uh, like not, uh, <laughs> wouldn't be surprising to see 150 or 200 species all living in this one type pool. So these awesome. enemies, their uh, tentacles aren't poisonous to us? No. So are they poisonous to us? Small fish. Stick your finger in one. Guys, I'm here at Marina. You really do it? Oh, good. Get this, get this. Ah! See, you'll feel a little like a little sticky. Yeah. Yeah. You've just been harpooned by its its uh, poisonous oh, darts. <laughs> this is a pretty tasty one for eating raw. With it. The islands are out of bounds okay. because they're nesting area for puffins and murres and there's also uh, seals and sea lions hauled out on the beach and you can't, you can't uh, interfere with them. Uh, we're going to check out the textural differences between sizes of mussels. So we've got a small one and this is the big one. If you look at it, you can see little pores, and so it just spends its life filtering the water and, and getting what it needs from that. It's called a kelp crab. You know you got it when it's exactly this color. Hey, there's one right behind you, Chef. <laughs> is that a baby or is that yeah, a Yeah, cool? no, it's a small one. We're jumping in that ocean. When we're done, we're jumping in the ocean. <laughs> Creatures. We die. I'm glad you got this in video. Yeah. <laughs> 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 The shell is stationary, but what it can do is pull its neck about halfway down. So you have to dig out where the neck is to be able to find the shell, to be able to put your hand underneath it and grab it from the back of the shell out. Sometimes we catch a few clams, sometimes we get shut out. Yeah, there's a whole art to it. People that know what they're doing don't dig unnecessary holes. There's a clam at the end of every one. Uh, I dig a lot of holes and not yeah. see too many clams. Uh, I don't feel any holes when I start. Oh, I pulled two out of that hole. Oh, there, it's moving. It's get it. moving. Get it. Get it, man. Get it, Tom. Get it. <laughs> There's so many rocks here. I saw it move. Oh, I broke the shell. It was right there. Tom, you won. I won. Versus Go back in, dude. <laughs> oh, he likes you. <laughs> oh, baby. There's two. There you go. These two came out the same hole. Now, if you want to bring it to class tomorrow, we'll show you the protocol for how we clean it. Oh, yeah. Hey, day. Fry some of the foot. Oh, man. Excellent. Fry the foot. The foot is the sweetest part. Oh, look at that. No, actually, we snuck down last night and we seeded the beach so that we could impress you with our clam digging process. Yeah. Which is, yeah, which is how they uh, protect themselves when they have a new shell coming out. Yeah.
So from the base, oh, see that would just be short. Let's keep other pulling one. more out. Yeah, probably. They'll fight, won't they? They're, they're all this way. They're not even moving. They're just sitting. I'm, but, so yeah, there's another the one. Right down. there, it looks like it. <laughs> that'd be a good idea. You could levitate them, that'd be groovy. So right now, I'm going to be putting the bully base in here. Getting the stuff all ready for some uh, clams and mussels, I believe. We're doing a uh, curry. All business. They will be doing sea lion tartare. He's a, he's a cool dude. He's a Muscles and a little uh, saffron bro. Uh, team's make crab cakes and sauce. We're steaming some clams, mussels. We made some curried shrimp. We steamed some rice. We got some salads. Just do a picnic day at the beach, you know. That's how we roll. <laughs>